My next guests are here as part of an excellent, uh, can we say launch? I guess it's the launch of a fund, I suppose. I'm looking over and now the camera's going to come over, so. <laughs> there we go. It's a uh, just continues to grow. So right. So uh, the Rebecca Schofield Fund. Uh, it is Ann Schofield. Thank you so much for joining us. Thank and you for Bill Hennessy as well. Uh, here Pleasure to talk like. with the Rebecca Schofield Fund. Uh, so as you said, it started late March. Uh, so what's uh, what's the progress like? I suppose we'll update people first. The uh, the progress has been very well. We've already uh, raised in excess of twenty thousand dollars, and uh, just we have another event this evening that's going to add significant to that total as well. And I was chatting with Ann and Darren earlier, and we had some other, some additional good news today as well. So it's really getting, uh, it's a grassroots movement. Mm -hmm. uh, it's a movement that we want to encourage. And maybe, Ann, I'll get you to kind of give a bit of the backstory in terms of where the, uh, the thought process and, okay. and the idea behind the fund. Yeah. Okay. Mm -hmm. um, when we got together to talk about the fund and, and how we wanted it to progress and everything, we were trying to figure out a way to how to what to name well not no not what to name it but how to present it to people mm -hmm. and uh, we came up with uh, I was telling them the story about Rebecca Rebecca at one point was given money to use solely on things that make her smile mm -hmm. so we would call it smile money it's her smile money she would ask if she could to do something and I would say would that make you smile she'd say yes so that's a you have smile money we'll use that because we wanted to encourage people to donate small amounts to help cover the cost of the little things that ha come up when you're in the hospital going through cancer, mm -hmm. cancer treatment. And with Rebecca's uh, legacy of kindness, she always said an act of kindness doesn't have to cost anything. So now we're asking people to donate money. So it kind of, you know, but by asking people to use their smile money, it's a little different. Mm -hmm. It doesn't have to be a lot. It can be a small amount. So we decided to launch it by saying smile in Becca's name and you know, use your smile money and maybe make somebody else smile in the, in the process. Mm -hmm. So that's... So the purpose of the fund is, one thing we did learn through Anne and through the many conversations was that there are a lot of needs that sometimes are not that apparent when it comes to cancer patients and their families. Mm -hmm. There are a lot of those small things that maybe on the surface people wouldn't think is significant. But, you know, the examples we've talked about are things like parking at the hospital. You know, you want to go visit a uh, family member and you have other children and you need a babysitter. Mm -hmm. Those little costs over the course of time uh, can certainly add up taxis for treatments and the like. So we've set up a uh, social media program um, uh, using uh, the hashtag Smile and Becca's name. So if you were to go on either uh, Facebook or Instagram or Twitter or any of the social media channels, and uh, put in Smile and Becca's name. You'll come to the exact site. You touch it, whether it's on your phone or on your desktop, laptop, computer, mm -hmm. and you'll, you'll be brought to a page called uh, Smile and Becca's name. You pick the experience, and this is what I, I, I find it's absolutely beautiful. You pick the experience that you want. Mm -hmm. So maybe it is, you know, headwear for somebody who's going through difficult chemo. Maybe it is that taxi. Maybe it's groceries for a week. Maybe it's an NB power bill. Mm -hmm. You pick the experience you want. And then you select the dollar value, and whether it's 15 or 20 or $25, whatever, it doesn't have to be, as, uh, as Anne had said, it doesn't have to be a big number. The idea is you make the contribution, put in your information, hit donate. When you've done that, we ask you to do one other small thing. Donating is a good thing. It does make people smile. Take your phone, take a picture of yourself smiling, post it on your own Facebook or any uh, Facebook or Instagram, and just put hashtag smile in Becca's name, and we grab all of those smile pictures, and we've been accumulating over the course of time. Mm -hmm. So it's kind of neat to go to the website, and you see fresh smile pictures coming up. And those little, you know, I mentioned earlier about that, we started in March. Those little contributions do add up, yeah. mm -hmm. and they do help. So there's no amount that's insignificant. That it's, we're basically looking to have those small acts of kindness. And the money goes into an endowment fund, and the beauty of it also is that it will continue on. Mm -hmm. So that, you know, the, the movement that Becca started in 2016 that impacted this community here to a great extent, 
Um, you know, to me, this fund is a legacy fund, so that keeps going into perpetuity, which I think is totally awesome. No, 100%. And uh, one thing that we, when we talked before we went to air, was that this is kind of a, it's very much a grassroots thing, much like, much like the original Becca told me to, and then a lot of this stuff Absolutely. is. It's very grassroots, but not only that, you guys are encouraging for small donations. Small donations. For people to make, you know, $10, $20, that kind of thing. Why, why the small ones? You could go easy and get the big ones, but why the small ones? Well, I think people think I can't help. I, I don't have $100 to donate. I don't mm -hmm. have $5,000 to donate. I don't have that kind of money. But everybody has, you know, co skip your Tim Hortons coffee one day or skip your lunch at the lunch counter one day and mm -hmm. $5 or $10. I mean, everybody can, $2, whatever you can donate. Rebecca would say that uh, every drop helps fill the bucket. Mm -hmm. Every donation is a drop. So it doesn't have to be big. We combine the donations to make it, you know, to be able to cover an expense for somebody. Mm -hmm. So that's why we say small amounts, because everybody can find a little, everybody's got a little bit of small money in their pocket. Mm -hmm. So just share it. Mm -hmm. 100%, or you call it walking around money, call it walk whatever you want, it's all there. Yeah. You know, Non-loitering money. Non-loitering money, <laughs> yeah. You like, call yeah it. Everybody but, has but everybody's got it, and as you said, that hashtag, Smile and Becca's name, yep. Uh, you can, if you go to that website and just keep scrolling, I mean, you'll see, it'll make your day, it'll make your week. That's you'll exactly it. Very just, happy people. You, there's value just for yourself after you've made your contribution and you're smiling mm -hmm. to go look and see what others. You share that community of giving, that, that sense of goodness that you're actually, you know, to the end point, the drop in the bucket. Mm -hmm. You now become a part of that. Yeah. And we wanted this to be a grassroots movement where everybody could feel that they could get engaged and that they could get involved. Mm -hmm. and, and it's important to say that this fund will help uh, people of, it's not specific to one cancer, mm -hmm. it's not specific to one age group. We want to help anybody that's going through treatment and their family at in, of any age. So it's not specific mm -hmm. for uh, pediatric cancer or, or anything, it's to help. And, and uh, Friends of the Moncton Hospital are managing the fund and they'll look after helping the people that need the help. So mm -hmm. this is very important. And that was one thing that we had mentioned also before we went to air is that there's, there's a fantastic programs for, for women going through breast cancer yeah. that do this kind of thing, but it's you know, specific to that. And that's a great program, you know, but this kind of covers All everything. All the other ones, hopefully. everything yeah. else, yeah. Because Rebecca would say everybody is deserving of, of a little act of kindness. Mm -hmm. So this is what we're doing, mm -hmm. you know. Um, going through cancer and going through the journey that she went through, you have bad days, you have days where you feel, you know, uh, well, you feel pretty crummy. Mm -hmm. But uh, the, the complaint that I say that I choose to remember that she had was that at the end of a long day, she would uh, say to me, Mom, my face hurts from smiling too much. Mm -hmm. So I remember that complaint over the other ones, mm -hmm. and I like the idea that her face hurt too much from smiling. Mm -hmm. So we, you know, we like the idea of making people smile. And let's make a few people smile, have their face hurt from smiling, bring a, f a smile to their face. So the smile in Becca's name is like, it covers so many things. It has so many meanings to it. Mm -hmm. You know, use your smile money or your walking around money, like you say, and uh, bring a smile to somebody's face. No, 100%. So it's smile in Becca's name, hashtag smile in Becca's name. You can go check that out uh, for the Rebecca Schofield Fund. Uh, where can people donate? I don't know necessarily if we covered that. The, um, you can donate. Uh, three different ways. One is the website, just uh, go into Google, put in Smile and Becca's name. Mm -hmm. The actual website is www.inbeccasname.ca. Mm -hmm. uh, you can go to uh, social media, like as I said, go to Facebook, Instagram, select, uh, put in uh, Smile and Becca's name, and it'll bring you to a page where you can touch and donate. And uh, if you're not so social media savvy, if you will, Please, uh, all of the work has been coordinated through the Friends at Moncton Hospital. Mm -hmm. So reach out, pick up your phone, call the Friends at Moncton Hospital, say I'm interested in making a contribution, and then we can take your information and uh, arrange to uh, receive your, your donation and uh, arrange to get a receipt out for you. So whether it's traditional or social media or website, either way we're set up for the donation. So the other thing I would ask if any of your viewers, you're sitting there, half of you, I'm sure, maybe two-thirds, are glancing at your phone at the same time as you're watching television. <laughs> Take the time to bring up Smiling Becca's name, mm -hmm. like it and share it, like it and share it, like it and share it as much as you can. And, and with that, that'll kind of, this is a, the, the, the old shampoo commercial, mm -hmm. tell two friends, yeah. tell two friends, and so on and yeah. so on. 
this is the movement that we've started here with this particular approach. Well, and I mean, that, even that's what's happening. Even further to that, I mean, from a grassroots campaign, I mean, Becca told me to yeah. is the exact Absolutely. example. Of I was, that. That's what I was going to say. Yeah. Like, it started as uh, you know, she, we had like I think 600 members to the group. Now we have over 21,000 members to the mm -hmm. to our Facebook group, and it grew in, it's in 94 countries, mm -hmm. but from people sharing it and sharing it and sharing it. So yeah. how amazing, amazing would it be if we can do the same thing with this? Mm -hmm. No, for sure. Um, so is there is there an end date for this? Is there a time where this is going to kind of wrap up or does it just keep going? It, it has, there's a natural kind of flow to it right. and we've seen other social media campaigns. We, we've, we want to keep the information and the messaging out there because one thing we do know is that the need is there. Mm -hmm. So we will continue on as long as we judge necessary that, you know, if there's somebody out there who needs help and there's somebody willing to make a small contribution and put a smile on somebody and put a smile on their own face and share it, then at that point we'll keep going and we'll reach the point where we're comfortable that we've got a fund that is sustainable in Becca's name mm -hmm. and at that point we'll sit down and have the conversation about whether we continue or not. Yeah, because that's what's amazing about this fund is that it's going to be there 15 years, 50 years from now. Mm -hmm. There's going to be a Rebecca Fund at the hospital exactly. to help cancer patients. And, and a so huge thanks as well to Friends of the Moncton Hospital yes. for that as well. So yes, uh, check out the hashtag Smile on Becca's Name. Do it on all your social medias. Make a donation. Uh, let's put that website back up on the screen if we can. Uh, right there on beccasname.ca and Schofield, Bill Hennessy, thank you so much for joining thank us. You. Thank so you. Be very sure much, to Mike. check it out and make donations on that website or on your social media.